Hello, welcome to How to Play Guess and Roll, a game for two or more players. This game comes to us from Reddit, from the Reddit user Cyrus Wright, and it's his creation. And if you like to have this video seen by more people, do help me by clicking that like button. So we're going to need three dice, one red, one white, one blue, another three dice of varying colors. Uh, you could have them all the same color, but have some way to differentiate them between each other. A red, blue, and a white chip. Um, these, of course, will belong to the dice. What each player is going to do is they're going to take their own personal dice and they are going to uh, put the number they think is going to be the highest rolled and put it, that chip of theirs on the color of the dice they think will be the highest rolled. So you basically have two bets here to make. Now this is pretty much almost a pure gambling game, but since we're playing it for points, it actually works really well. So we see that green has gotten the correct guess, that he's guessed six on the white dice. The white dice was the highest rolled at six, and it also had a six. So he will receive 20 points. Now, if you get the color right, but the number wrong, you get five points. If you get the number right, but the color wrong, you get five points. If you get both wrong, you'll lose five points. So we go ahead and uh, use our cribbage board. The cribbage board is not necessary, but it just happened to work so well since the winning uh, person, the winning player is going to be the player that first reaches 100 or more points. So in this case, we're just going to go to 120 since I do have the cribbage board. And so now we see the next roll. We see 20 points scored by purple and then uh, 5 points scored by green for having the correct total but not the correct die. And then, of course, uh, yellow lost 5 points for being incorrect. So everybody makes their uh, statement and then we roll. We see that blue is the highest roll, but the number was not correct, so we'll give purple five points. Yellow uh, receives, uh, loses five points for having both the color and the number wrong, and red loses five points uh, as well. Then we go ahead and go to the next roll. Everybody makes their bet, and once the bets are in, we go ahead and roll. We see that red is actually the highest, so yellow will receive five points for having the correct color, but not the correct number. And then we go on with everybody else. Green receives uh, five points for having the right uh, number, but not the right color. If you happen to get a three of a kind or two of a kind, uh, that is establishing the first place, the highest roll, go ahead and re-roll. So here we got three of a kind. We have three ones, so that roll doesn't count. Keep everybody's bets in place and just re-roll the die until you actually do get a number that works. So in this case, we got a six, five, four. So... White 6 is correct. Yellow will receive 20 points for having both the color and the number correct. Green will receive 5 points for having the color correct. And of course, purple loses 5 points for having neither the color nor the number correct. And we just keep going like that. We keep doing this over and over until somebody gets to uh, 100 points. Now we see we have two threes there, so neither one of these people can score points. We must re-roll. We have two twos. Re-roll again until we get a result where one number is higher than the other. Yellow will receive 20 points for having scored uh, correctly on both the number and the color. Purple will, of course, lose five points, and red will lose five points as well. And we just keep doing that until somebody scores 120 points in this case, because I did bring out my cribbage board, and that's what we just basically decided to do. So here we roll, and red uh, is the highest number, so purple has guessed red to be the highest and has guessed correctly at um, six as being the number, so they win. So like always, if you want to play some card games out in public with strangers, otherwise known as friends that you haven't yet been introduced to, do come to our subreddit card game meetups, post your city, what public place you want to do this at, and what card games you know. You never know, we might actually have a game happen again. So do click under the show more in the description to get all the pertinent information for this video, including rules and music, and a link to a Discord channel where people talk about card games all day, every day. It's a fun place filled with interesting people, so do call up your friends and let them know that you would like to play some card games. They might say yes, they might say no, but you never know unless you ask, and sometimes in life you have to be the one to ask that question. Do like, subscribe, and share these videos with people you know like playing card games or you want to like play card games and do vote in this month's community uh, tab poll for game of the month and I want to thank today's musician and I will see you next video